Hey everyone, uh, Michael the Unseen Addict here. Um, just wanted to come and make a video today. It's it's going to be a controversial video. There's going to be a if there's if there's many people that watch it, there's going to be a lot of hate comments. There's going to be a lot of people who disagree. There's going to be a lot of people who saying I'm an idiot, and that's okay. Um, I've dealt with it a long time being an addict. Um, even though I'm I'm sober now and I'm in in recovery. Still get called an addict, still get called an idiot for the things that I've done in the past. Even though I've got my life together now, or together as it can be, I still get called an idiot, and that's okay. Um, but today I'm going to talk about methadone, <clears throat> or medicated assisted treatment. Methadone, buprenorphine, Subutex, Suboxone, you know, I just wanted to give you a heads up that if there's a lot of views on this video, be prepared because there's going to be a lot of hate comments. It is something that is very disagreed upon and a lot of people think that there's a lot of hate comments about it. A lot of people disagree with it. A lot of people think it's not right, that um, abstinence is the only way and unfortunately you're wrong because abstinence is not the best way and it's not the only way so but I'll, I'll go ahead and get started um, the first thing I want to say is one of the most no actually the first thing I want to say is if you are in medicated assisted treatment and you are staying sober and <clears throat> doing everything you need to do to stay sober and living your life way to go I'm very very proud of you um, <clears throat> good job very proud of you and if you're in a 12-step program and you're staying sober and it's working out for you good job with it too I'm very proud of you for it I'm proud of you for anything that you can do to stay sober but today we're talking about medicated assisted treatment specifically methadone whether anybody wants to agree or disagree methadone and medicated assisted treatment Medicated assisted treatment itself is the most successful form of recovery, period. It is the most successful. It has up to a 60% success rate, which is unreal. Depending on where you look, the numbers are going to be give or take some percentage wise of success rate because it's really hard to tell for sure. But it does have the high success rate. The number one thing that you're going to hear people say is you're trading one drug for the other. That is the that is the number one thing that people say to try to deter you or try to down talk you because you are on medicated assisted treatment. That is not true. You're not trading one drug for another drug. What you are doing is you're getting rid of the poison that you're putting in your body and you're putting something else in your body that allows you to live your life comfortably allows you to live a normal life you're not putting something in your body that gets you high once you're on a stable dose you can live a productive life you can enjoy the life that you live you can work a normal job you don't have to go to the clinic every day you can you can live a normal life and enjoy time with your family and just enjoy life itself not chasing drugs not out finding your dealer to get you drugs so that you can get high and be high for an hour and not be sick for two hours you are not trading one drug for another you're getting rid of a poison that you're putting in your body and you're doing something that will save your life that will give you your life back that will allow you to just live a productive life and be a productive citizen not a criminal not an addict you know or what some people say a word that I hate more than anything a junkie I hate that word I hate that word so bad and I hate the word clean I don't think you're ever dirty. I just think sometimes you're you're hung up in a rut, in life, depression, anxiety. The overdose deaths in 2016, there were 42,000 just from opioids. 42,000, that is insane. That is 
massive amounts. Medicated assisted treatment has really helped lower the number of overdose deaths. Yes, there's still a ton and yes, the number does continue to rise, but the number would be even higher without medicated assisted treatment because it allows you to live an amazing life. Medicated assisted treatment has helped so much and once everybody stops this ridiculous stigma, it will help people get in recovery. People are scared to get sober by going to the methadone clinic. Let me tell you, the methadone clinic is not only where you go to get medication. You go there to see a counselor for your mental health. They require you to take drug screens to hold you accountable for what you do there. You do group sessions, just like if you were in a 12-step program, but it's different kinds of groups to help you get your life back together, to actually focus on, that, you know, things that you really need to do in life. You know, there's people that you can talk with. There's a doctor there that you can see if you need help with something. There are nurses that you can ask questions about when you go up to the window because you're in a little enclosed room. There, It is very amazing. And another thing that people bash it up, medicated assisted treatment is the time that people are on. Everyone is different. Everyone. Some people may need two years. Some people may need a lifetime. You have to understand that some people that go to methadone clinics are there because they have had to come off of pain medication because a doctor retired. And they are very old and they cannot handle the withdrawal system, symptoms that they would have to go through to come off of this medication. There are doctors, lawyers, who will not stay sober with abstinence. Abstinence is it's, it's dead. It does not work anymore. To give you an idea, a few of the websites that I looked at gave an idea of the 12-step programs, abstinence-based recovery programs. And I'm going to look down for a minute to read this. 81% of newcomers that enter 12-step programs are gone within a month. After 90 days, and I believe this is meetings, not actual treatment facilities. After 90 days, only 10% of people remained at meetings for 12-step programs. After one year, only five of those remained. They, you know, according to a lot of 12-step program statistic sites and stuff like that, they have a 31% success rate with medicated assisted treatment being roughly 60%. Um, 31% at its best, between 5 and 10% at its worst. A lot of people believe with it, that it's most, most successful because they're scared to say otherwise. They're scared to say that medicated assisted treatment is the most successful because no one wants to get bashed. Personally, I love going to AA and NA and 12 step meetings. But if you are on a medicated assisted treatment, I highly recommend you not say that you are because they will tell you that you are not sober in sobriety. I've seen it happen. I just wanted to give you guys um, a little bit today about medicated assisted treatment. It's not much. I could make a million videos on it. I just want to say that it's what I personally believe is the best form of recovery. Yes, it is hell coming off of if you just stop it. If you taper yourself down very slowly, you can come off of it withdrawal free. It takes a lot of work. In the position that we we are in with addiction, it's so worth it. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to message me. My inbox is open to anyone. If you want to comment and have me message you, I will. Um, please feel free to message me with any questions you may have. If you need help finding a clinic, let me know. I will find you one. There are Facebook pages that can really help you out with medicated assisted treatment. Um, don't be shy and don't be scared. Your sobriety is the most important thing that you will ever do in your life. Please do not be scared. Go after it. And if you need my help, I'm here.
See you guys.